What's up, guys? Hello, and welcome back to Vicky 3 is Van Diamond's Land. We're chasing the tales of, uh, of New South Wales. <laughs> did, not, did not mean to rhyme that. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get close to them in GDP and hopefully uh, surpass them and make them part of our wonderful uh, Van Diamond Land. We're also making a ton of money. What do I want to do with this money? I don't really need to do anything, to be honest with you. I'm fine. Just let, yeah, let's just build up our, our gold reserve. Eventually, we're going to want to go and start building up some ports or some military goods in our lands. Yeah, we still have some unemployed. Um, in fact, let's, let's get that let's academy down to the bottom. And let's start building some naval bases. Our goal here is going to be to take on Japan. Um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. We want some flotillas involved in this, so uh, let's try to get something like 20 of these just to prep it. That way we have a, a navy. I mean, I guess these guys have a navy. We have 24 if you count all their lands. Um, these guys, right? They shouldn't. Okay. This is, of course, considering... I, I, in my head, we, we we're going to just naturally surpass. Oh, never mind. They just skyrocketed up. What happened to them? Did they get gold or something? Hmm. Well, anyway, we're going to have to intersperse some... Um, some uh, naval bases in with other stuff, just so we can keep growing this. Ah, oh, you did lose some gold. Okay, so... What we need is for them to lose some of their gold fields for us to pass them, because we're right there. Two point... Pause. Something happened. Well, here we go. New... S yes! We're huge now. We're massive. Um, and our economy's suffering. What's going on? Yeah, Diamond Lander Canuck. Okay, let's just check this out. So we have a lot of new space. Um, space that needs to be integrated. These are all colonies. You're colonizing all of this? What the fuck are you doing with this? Is there anything here? There's nothing here? Okay, drop this. Okay, we'll have to deal with this. Unincorporated territory. We need to, we need to incorporate all of these things. They only take a year and they are good for us to have. South Island, Queensland, and New South Wales. Okay, we got a second construction sector, which is probably why everything is so expensive here. Let's go back to Anchorage, go back to Naval Power. Um, so, our cheap farms. Harvesting tools is good. That's fine. Uh, slaughterhouses. Everyone wants to be atmospheric pump, nitroglycerin. Rail transport, rail transport. Um, these, of course, are going to be condensing pump, nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. Rail transport. We finally can do some logging stuff. Or what is the better income, right? Yeah, it is. Of course, it always is. And up here, we want to go to ammonium sulfur. Uh, keep this the same, since we do need that. And philosophy department there. Holy cow. Pause our construction. We need to sort out our shit. Tax waste is big. It's just it's massive. It's crazy. Um, cancel this. Drop you all the way down. That's not going to help a lot. How many, of the, how many government administrations do we have? We've got three of them. Tasmania, you need some more government administrations. Let's go for five of them. We need to turn on our things to actually afford this. Uh, drop military wave, drop government wages, and let's increase our actual... Oh, we're isolated. Why are we not making any... Oh, because we don't have any tax. Okay, let's take some of these colonies and stop them. Anything that 
has nothing in it. Jesus Christ. Stop and cancel. Let's just stop all of these. Just want to stop all of those because those don't need to actually be thing. I cancel these. I need to declare an interest, huh? Because we have interest over there. I want to declare my interest in Japan. We need to right size our government here before things go terrible. That definitely does not a help. Because we have our United Tribal. Okay, cool. We're back in somewhat business. Cool. Let's also cancel doing that. Keep that capped. Uh, we have some gold reserves to tank this stuff out. Looks like we just needed everything to adjust. Okay, I'm still going to keep up our building of the naval bases. As this stuff all settles itself out. Okay, let's only let's do two of these, and we'll, we'll let the rest kind of just naturally progress. We're feeling good. Feeling good. We'll up our military wage as soon as we can. There's military wage. Man of a machine. Um, I'll have the agrarian party succeed. Whew, that was worrying. Um, seeing all that stuff drop like that, like it did. Okay, let's um, let's stop these, or let's at least kick these guys down to the bottom of our our list of things to do. All right, do I have everything queued up? We have chemical bleaching still. Mechanized tools is coming along. What do we do next? We were leading towards, we don't even need to do mechanized tools. What do we do after chemical bleaching? Do dynamite. Actually, I'm always a, a big benefactor of research of reinforced concrete. It's gonna take a long ass time to do, but this stuff's all gonna spread naturally, and I, we don't need this to beat Japan. I don't believe. All right, how is our economy looking? Our government? Let's I should say. Let's get this in. Uh, we can do proportional taxation here. No reason to not to. Everything's looking good. Can I kick this up now? I can. Here we go. Nice. And everything's going well. All right, let's take a look at this land that we just incorporated. All right, it's being it's being integrated. We have Victoria down here in the south. It's got a bunch of sulfur. It's got some gold fields. Same as New South Wales. These gold fields are what's going to be keeping us afloat. So we're going to need to be careful about that. Economy scale is capped. Cool. Livestock farms. These, all, these things are also all bad to build in. It's, it's actually funny. Um, our home state is the best one to build in other than Victoria here. Everything else has this great divide. And then over here you have the desert. So Victoria is going to be our, our, our other center besides our homeland. Bureaucratic Trust, my favorite event. This should all be good. Whew. Just to speed things up, I'm going to build a single construction sector in Victoria. I love how the second I started to build that, our money went down. Right. Looks like our unincorporated state should be getting there. In seven months, we'll have our taxes skyrocket from incorporating all these guys. Which is good. It's what we want. 
We also have some people pushing to enact poor laws. Novel solution. Second bureaucratic trust just in the same turn. Okay, we can also now drop the greener grass campaign. Um, and also road maintenance in our capital state. What do we do with our remaining stuff? I think we put a luxury tax and a luxury clothes tax. Of course, uh, no, we'll shoot the luxury tax. Keep our income fine and dandy. Let us build our university here and we can start building out our naval bases. Okay. So that will be our navy. What are we looking at in terms of Japan's military? They have 127 battalions. We don't need that many. If I just go and get... So that's 20. 30. 40. Call 50. I think that'll be enough. 60 for good measure. That should definitely just be enough like the gap in tech between us and Japan, right? We'll see, it'll be it'll be it'll be interesting. I'm not super confident here. We'll look at Bone China. Uh, definitely steel tools, definitely rotary valves, paper bleaching here. Okay. So we're making a lot of money now. I do want to kick up more construction sectors. Let's make sure we have one in Queensland and New South Wales. Let's also make sure New South Wales has a fucking um, railway built there, since they're a little behind. We don't need to be making 10k in excess, especially when we have everything Gucci. And we're, plus we're going to get proportional taxes soon and get another 4k. Let's actually go ahead and now we need to crank our military up. Once we're once we're capped on our gold reserves, I'll crank the military up to the next level. But this should be fine as is. Let's crank this to cargo port though. That will help. In fact, that probably deals with our infrastructure problems in Queensland. Yeah, it does. Oh, New South Wales is where we needed it. Uh, road maintenance. Yeah, that'll help it for now. Okay, we've got to keep an eye out for when we can do the next Federate Australia. It all takes this unifier here, which is in 11 weeks, so we're close. Very close. Hopefully it like does Western Australia instead of like. Come on. Well, there we go. Warna has been taken. That's this guy down here. Let's incorporate you. Good news about militarizing to fight Japan is it will also be dealing with this dude over here with his 50 battalions. In a way, Japan should be easier to fight. They lack a lot of the stuff that modern nations have. European nations, I should say. Um, let's boost the intelligence, yeah. Right, now that we have that, I can stop doing my recruitments. And I can sit on my spare stuff and help boost our chances there. Sounds Gucci. So we actually have to be able to support our naval invasion, because we can't just, like, colonize this, can I? Not. Is there any other colonies I can do? I could do a colony over here. 
I'm going to cancel these. We'll come back to there whenever we have nothing to colonize. Let's actually take back our interest from over here. Let's go to Sahara. Uh, no, not Sahara. Go over here. What, iron mines. Go. There's proportional taxation. Um, what do we do next? We do have people lobbying us to do poor taxes here, poor laws. We'll go for. I want wage subsidies ideally. So I hold off and maybe go for universal suffrage. Where do I go for like secret police, national guard, guaranteed liberties? Laissez faire. Right of assembly. Ah, let's go for poor laws. No one hates it. Except for the squad talk which is marginalized anyway, so. Right, we lost some gold, unfortunate. Can I build gold mines? I can build gold mines. Sorry, I need to actually just uh crank these things up all the way. That literally will fund everything I do ever if I Boost those. What region are they in this year? Mostly in Victoria, New South Wales. Let's just uh, do myself a favor then. Uh, Victoria and New South Wales. Let's get a port here. After these. Here's our turmoil, it's growing. French Republic has started a colony of French Guinea. Who won uh, who won in France? Victor de Broglie. Who's a president? Who the fuck is this? He's an Orleanist. Okay. <laughs> Who's got the longest fucking name? <laughs> It's like, like, is this, is there anyone longer? Oh, Hohenzollern is pretty long, too. But that dude was, I think that's a record for number of syllables. Um, let's not have a popular old folk. We'll try to drop that away. Look how much money we are spending in diplomatic packs. 12k. Tells you the value of independence. Um, we're not going to be getting a university this level 5. Not with our current economy. But we do have good throughput now. Very happy with our throughput. Is there a reason for me to... Is it the next stage? Okay, we should just pass four laws all the way through. Should not be anything stopping us from doing this. watching the colony grow. Uh, boosting the Shrillists. Really, standard living is 13? Not bad. Uh, welcome to Change of Heart. My gold mines. Gold mines with our. I forgot to change all these over. Slaughterhouses. Some of these. Okay, let's do you to vineyards. You to single crop. And you guys will do citrus. I'm 
everything else should be fine. We want baking powder and all. Canneries and all. Uh, let's have some of these guys do patent stills. In fact, these two can do patent stills since we have our main guy doing the other stills. Sounds good. We make a lot from minting. That's why we got to keep our gold mines up. It's going to be our entire GDP is those fucking mines. How far are we to getting rid of our mines out here? Eight months. Eight months and I can do something. Uh, let's get four loss. You're, you're in the French market, aren't you? Yeah, you are. <laughs> you're losing to a, a ghost man. So how much do these gold mines do for us? Let's go to New South Wales. Let's check out their gold mines. Twenty tons of gold. Victoria. Also twenty tons. This is actually just ramping up, so it'll go more, right? Yeah, it'll go up more. I do need some. Okay, I just gotta. This is just to remind myself what the fuck I'm doing. Where am I? What am I doing? Okay, we are getting some in Van Dyne. Oh wow, this is building itself. I want one of these in each of these, and I want. Oh, sorry. I want this one to be focused on Ammonium, and we're just gonna do normal. Let's do normal fertilizer. There. Gold Rush, spread the words. Make sure our railways are being met. Uh, South Australia is getting more. Air construction. Okay. Steam donkey. I love saying that. That tech. Makes me makes makes me makes me good. Ooh, wow. Words are hard this episode. Makes me think of Shrek. Steam donkey. Sounds good. Uh, same living. Can do attitudes. Let's you know what? Let's let's get them. Let's get them the can opener for the boys. Even though the armed forces are to support us. We got poor laws. How much do we have to pay for that? Not bad, not too bad to get the welfare payments. Um, I'd like to have more bureaucracy. Let's federate. Western Australia has came under us. Welcome to the team. Um, we are not paying any of our troops here. You can stop with all of that. We're not at that point yet. We're getting there, but we're not at that point yet. Well, we have coal now. Um, chemical plant need anything I need to know? Okay, we're good. I gotta check these things that all were split production, make sure they're still looking good. Speaking of here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's have this one be vineyard, just so we have someone who makes a lot of them. And Australia has been completed. What about South Australia? About to say, this guy still exists. <laughs> We're also Dominion now, so it means we make more money. Um, we pay we pay slightly less to each other. And we can make our own, like, do our own wars and things. But we also defend ourselves. So it's a blessing and a curse. Um, let's throw in another level of government administration. Oh, we're already building some. Where are those getting built? Do they have progress on them? There they are. Let's just crank those both up to the top. Starting with this one. Okay. 
We are booming. Business is booming, as they say. Do we have any more gold fields to build out now? Western Australia, you also need to get yourself up the railway. Shit. <laughs> is, that, is that already going Western Australia? That's Tasmanian South Australia. Anything that's not... Okay, railways all need wooden cars. Anyways, let's get ourselves into the construction sector. Let's get one in here. Let's get one in North Australia. Should be fine on all cases there. Where the fuck is this? Oh no, cancel that. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you. You're gonna be my, I can't do anything, let me build this colony. Need more pop to have our colony grow faster. We're at two mil pop. Let's compare that to 50 mil over here and 38 mil over here. I was going to have to compete with the French. Three, where 1.2 go? We're actually not that far off from them. More, more preps to us. They're probably doing multiple things at once, and we're, we're doing only one, so. That's probably the source of our differences. This main and Canuck is kind of rough. Kind of struggling there. Get these before we do the gold mines, please. To move the ones that we've already built up a little bit. Okay, there's our construction. There's our construction sector throughput. That's a tongue twister and a half. Now what do we do? Um, dynamite will just be good for us. But is that what we want to do in the long term? Electricity eventually. I think once we invade Japan, we'll start focusing on military. The reason I say that is because eventually we need to break free from Daddy Great Britain and uh, do something. Set out on our own and not pay 15k in subsidies. By the way, uh, something in this game that I think is terrible and should be changed is that when you declare independence from your overlord, you still pay that 15k while you're doing the independence war. There's no way to get out of it. You're just stuck paying it, and so you're paying. It. It's like it's the it's terrible. Like it's, it feels like such an easy thing to implement, and you. you nevertheless, you have to pay. Anywho, I just mentioned that because I I've done an independence war, and I and I got screwed because I had to, I went basically bankrupt. Even though you are still in their same market, which is also kind of weird, but you would also it'd be really screwy if you had to. It'd be really hard to be independent if you if your market changed, right? You'd have to have basically self-support. The war would start, and you'd have to do a bunch of work. For I guess that's the trade-off there. Another interest I can declare. No. They're colonized out there. I wish I could tell my colony to just, like, block these guys. Like, just come around right there. And stop these guys from advancing. All right, we're getting a glassworks in our colony. That's good. And now Britain's establishing this. Uh, luckily, they're already blocked, so not a worry there. For now, at least. Explosives, huh? We just gotta wait. We gotta wait. We gotta. We're gonna start. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, do I want to do this now? No, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. All right. Um, let's keep kicking up our construction capacity here. 
Let's do Tasmania, South Island, um, and Queensland. We have a level 4 steel mill somewhere. Wait, this is now a proper state? Oh, we have a war. Uh, military. Stop. Let's, let's... Oh, I already started it. Well, I'm going to kick my military into gear at the same time as I'm going to... See how this goes. I need a general. Ambitious. Open terrain. Versus direct. Supply expert and pillager. Easy pick there. Colony stopped because of that. I do not want to incorporate this, though. Here's the question here. Is no one going to come to help? We are also losing a lot of money to just swap my entire military over. Alright, let's watch this. Let's get more gold fields here. Yeah. Got the word. We are a gold-based economy. So we have one front line. This is great. Once we break front line, it's going to be awful. There we go. All right, second general. Uh, we'll do... The armed forces, gen gentlemen. Mobilize, yes, and put you in here. French Timbuktu. That's up here, right? Totally, actually, I guess it's. I'm trying to think of my EU4 where the map's different, slightly. South Wales. It's always just throwing me off. New South Wales needs more market access. Throw on a railway here. Right, he's out here. Good. Nice. So now we're really fast to give us more access to stuff. All good over here. We're about to get to building our naval bases. So let's take a look at you. 135 troops. Let's declare an interest on Japan. There's a gold rush. Got the word. Doing well. We're at 74 construct capacity. What, what does it take when we get to the next level? It's going to be 37k for steel frame buildings. Ugh. Quite a bit. Quite the bit that we're going to have to put into that. I should actually tax porcelain instead of one of these. gonna let this stuff build out we are gonna just probably gonna use a lot of these uh on equipping our new navy and military which is fine we expect to have that cost okay with paying it so we need to keep an eye on our gold 
because if any of the gold changes, especially this in Victoria here, let's build this and build, that one's already getting built in Western Australia. Is that private construction? Somewhere we have to be queued in Western Australia. Oh yeah, good. put that up all the way. Okay, that's good. Look at us, we're making so much money. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, so happy. I have to be careful though, because we could get screwed very fast by this. Unfortunate, we lost the gold field. Say we lose a gold field here, but I'll um, crank this up. It's just, it just makes so much sense to just prioritize that, right? Let's think about construction sectors. Northern Territory, where is that? Let's get us an even... Let's do one more in New South Wales and one more in Victoria. Since we do have all these things being built there. Oh, we can probably read Australia. Is that the end of it? Are we now Australia? We are now Australia. Let's see what's going on in South Australia. We already have it annexed. Let's look at our buildings. More mobile. Drop this. Drop this. Steam donkey all the way. We also want these to auto expand. Same with the gold mines. They need to auto expand. Oh, we have an oh we have this hardwood everybody steam donkey good oh, we have some arms oh these aren't even built yet we'll hold off till those are built Two boiler just make more okay I'll let them go. Let them grow. And we have an election. Uh, we'll keep the same guys in. Is there anything we need to do in our laws? Mutual suffrage? We could do it. Let's go for universal suffrage. For our journal entries. Freedom of trade. We need to enact free trade. Building industry, steam engine time. We could do the, the motor industry thing. Central archives will be coming around slowly. I need to kick over any of my government administrations to a higher level. Also, we have so many parts of We're at 219 in terms of prestige. How does our prestige fare against... Oh yeah, we'd be, uh... We're on the top. Got 9 million GDP. We're not, we're not even, like, super high. We'd be... What is this? 16? Not bad. More fine art. Do more independent artists. Oh, looks like we need to build more of our government administrations. I'm throwing these in Tasmania because I don't want them to get... If we ever have a rebellion, I do not want these to slip, flip. Since we build them all in the same place. If they flipped, it'd be uh, so terrible. So terrible. <laughs> we'd, get, we'd get kaputted. It'd be really bad. So can I jump off of welfare to be like, you know... Wage subsidies. The better thing for my economy. Now, so how are we doing over here with this colony? Why are you no progress? I have no active interest over here. 
Oh, drop that, please. Oops. That was my bad. What's going on with Dad? Graffiti and humiliate French. Alright, how are we looking on this stuff? Four years worth of cubes. Stuff queued. Make sure we don't have any gold mines to build. We can build more gold mines. Alright, I think I'm I'm done just throwing all my all my gold mines in the same on the top of the queue. We'll let it breathe. <laughs> Let's get through some of the military so I can do other stuff. That does affect us, those man of war shortages. Uh, we'll short by labor here, and then we'll do. Also, remember to go a railway on anything that's a, too close, South Island. We have 36% chance of stall here. Said anything. I said it and I immediately thought that's gonna stall now that I pointed out that we have a chance there. Look at how much we lose. We lose 28k to GB. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna vassalize the uh, the Japanese and then um, make a play for independence from uh, Dad Daddy GB. Cause this is just ridiculous how hard it is to. Yep, and look at it. We're starting to see it affect our actual economy with our market access being affected by there's a good. This does mean we need to really push for our resources. We have not maxed out our resource industries. So let me just throw all of our possible resources into queue here. At least for logging camps. Uh, take the permanent prestige, please. So we now have a long queue. It's going to be t like a good little chunk here. Oh, but we just tore through the naval bases I queued up. That was fast. That was really fast. Unfortunate. Okay, we do want to have these gold mines before um, we do our logging camp spurge, though. Gold mines are more valuable than those. Don't think that's surprising to anybody here. All right. Dinamite. Um, let's take these guys and put them all on fact. Tumulic Thrallisis. Tasmania will handle those. Um... Shipyards. We want to do reinforced wooden ships. Let's do rifles here. One of you. Uh, let's do. We'll keep this that way for now. Then we'll do explosive shells in the munitions plant. All right. Dynamite to get more gold, which is going to just boost our production so much. Look at our minting. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I can actually. Do expensive stuff. We're working towards steel frame buildings. I do like that. Is there anything I want to prioritize over getting that? Rotary valve will help reduce our pop requirements. What about military. Anything I want to push for? I get ironclad. Let's push for ironclad here. I need I need to make a a general transition towards getting uh getting navy right because we have we have ten flotillas. GB is three hundred. Eventually we need to get up to something com comparable to have a chance against them. It's going to be rough because we have like 
Tasmania over here is going to border them. So we're going to have like a land front. Regardless of what we do. Which is worrying. Okay, don't want to piss off the industrialists anymore right now. Go to consumption based taxation. Um, Parliament? No. Maybe we start giving regulatory bodies workers' protection? Let's go regulatory bodies here. Yeah. Pissed off the just a little bit, but they're big boys. They'll get over it. So great to see this grow. We have a fucking arts academy here. They said, you know who needs some art? These people in the Sahara. Let's give them some nice little art. Let's set that up. All right, we're not gonna spend this excess work we have because we're getting close to steel frame buildings. And when we get steel frame buildings, as you are, I'm sure you're aware, it's fucking expensive. 37k to make the swap, so says the game. Um, plus, we're about to recruit a ton of men, so uh, we need to handle that. I think that's a new level of artillery we just unlocked. Yes, it was. Let's also look at our, our arms industries here. Now let's kick it over to Breach Loader here. Let's build a second arms industry in South Island. In this arms industry that we haven't built yet. We're going to kick over just to normal arms. Also, let's go ahead and click the button here while I'm still present. Instead of being Tasmania, we are going to be Australia. Huzzah! Look at us. Prosper. Okay, our army power. Is it 186? Their army power, 138. So... Ah, da, da. I'm thinking about if, whether or not I can actually do that. Let's also just keep increasing our army here. Alright, we'll go 10 in all of our core territories. Let these things build out here. <sighs> Fucking speed run that. Five years to get all this stuff done. Probably most of that's the, uh, the logging camps we threw in the queue. Our barracks are getting done fast. Yep. Okay, now I think we're good enough to, so I can do something here. Let's declare. Do I get? I get it. I get a second interest. Ooh. Aha. Okay. Let's take our better guy. Move him a little bit. Let's look at a third general. Near. Okay, more tan has been built and finished. 20 years to, uh, yeah, we're not integrating that anytime soon. Make sure we have, I need to increase our throughput here. Let's get Queensland up. Let's also get South Australia and this one. That's Inner Mauritania, I realized. Okay, how's our Navy looking? 15 flotillas. 
checking how many we have. We'll need more. Um, so let's take Victorian Western Australia. Okay. I uh, will set this in the queue. Oh, diplomatic packs is killing us. Military buildings are also expensive, though. Small arms, opium, and ammunition are all problems. Let's increase our ammunition production here. Uh, sort by labor. We already have some here, but they don't have any labor to actually accommodate it. One, two, one, two. And our small arms, we are building more, but let's do three, four here. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Are you at war, GB? Ah, uh, you are. French. Hence why this sucks. Let's get over, let's get over here while we're at the time. We're losing quite a bit of money. Mainly because of this stuff. What do we want to upgrade? Let's upgrade our uh, welfare payments. Yeah, we're also going to need some of those. Okay, I keep chewing stuff up without letting my thing just process through. Is there a... Ah, okay. Stop! Give me a colony up here. Is this... Ah, uh, Olanda. Okay, is this fixing? Please fix. I'd like to not have to have my economy be wrecked. Okay. Alright, so let's now restrict child labor. Everybody loves it, let's do it. Okay, Queensland, please fix it. Please fix this. Uh, what's our resource for gold? We're looking good. Oh, I can't do anything because of that. Can't do anything because of Morocco? I care about Morocco. What's my military like? I mean, we don't have the flotillas. Is anything valuable here? Oh, they have gold mines and iron mines. Here you what? Be my dominion. <sighs> Mobilize our army. We'll just kick up our uh, one tick. Come on, give way. Who are you? Who is this? Unrecognized power? Oh, well. <laughs> what 
what are they going to do? <laughs> like, what, what is that country going to do? Is this the sign that our, okay, our market's recovering. Woo! Alright, we're going to have a Dominion here. Oh, we need a an Admiral. Um, uh, let's go over this dude. And we'll probably a couple times. There's our Vice Admiral. Uh, good sir, let me just arrive right in Fez. Take four of the troops. Um, strength of 80, mine has a strength of 680. We simply do not compare. This is how I'm going to uh, swage my, my difficulties with diplomatic packs, is I'm just going to get my own diplomatic packs to ruin them. Buying up enemy reception in the sea here. Slaughter. Yes. Let's see how this goes. We are arriving. Let's take our Ronald Hatch. go. Um, good sirs. Make me proud. Get in there, boys. This guy still at war? He's out, too. I, uh, where does this go down? Oh, because I got too many generals, huh? Quickly, um, let's do another three of these. Actually, let's, go to, let's get our uh, central archives finished here. I'm going to crank these bad boys that we already were queuing up to the top here. Let's resume... Our well, gold reserves are going to be pretty bad. Let's just get these get that back. Let's. I, I was joking <laughs> when I said resume. That was a, that was a fun little joke. All right, Morocco. Welcome to the British market. Resume construction. We also got the steam engine. Um, let's do railway cars. We get our iron pads set, set up. Good. All right. Welcome to our first nation to the great Australian Empire. The sun will never set on the Australian Empire. Um, we've we've gotten ourselves a uh, a guy. Um, this should actually do, get us established an interest here. Let's get an interest here, um, and let's just keep ourselves active. Um, and Siam. So, did uh, did you lose? What's going on here? Did we have a, did we have the, the colonists actually win? I like how I can't establish a colony here because of Morocco. Who is my little guy? Hmm. So wait a minute. Why not get money from this guy? 
I should get money, right? Oh, I do. I get 4K. <laughs> it's just in a different line. Okay, that makes sense. Also, I think they, they won. Yeah, they won. Okay, that's my sign to stop for now. Let's um, cut back on our buildings real quick. All right. We're doing well. We have gotten our colony. We have Morocco as a vassal, and we are building up our army towards getting the uh, Japanese shogunate. Um, this is going to be rough. It's going to take 554 infamy here to get that done. Um, but I think we're okay to do it, honestly, right? Um, so that's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to take on Japan, uh, make them part of our great empire, and then we'll probably look to... Um, Get independent, I think. Um, we might look at making uh, this guy, the Dutch East Indies, part of us. Let's make you a rival real quick. Um, hopefully by taking on the Netherlands, right? Maybe we could get take their uh, transfer subject here over um, the Dutch East Indies. They don't have any... Oh, they have a defensive pack with pressure. Never mind. Gonna, we'll, we'll figure something out. But for now, we're going to call some here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I've been Sean. This is Blue Screeners, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.